George Lucas reinvented science fiction with his masterpiece, Star Wars. Martin Scorsese reinvented the Mark film with his masterpiece, Goodfellas. Now these brilliant directors have combined forces to make the most brilliant film ever made. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. To me, being a gangster was better than being president of the United States. They weren't like anybody else. I mean, they did whatever they wanted. They double parked in front of a hydrant and nobody ever gave them a ticket. It wasn't too long before my parents changed their minds about my job at the cab stand. Did you have a good day at school today? My father was always pissed off. He was pissed that he made such lousy money. He was pissed that my kid brother Michael was in a wheelchair. He was pissed that there were seven of us living in such a tiny house. Why don't you tell me about this? It's a letter from school. It says you haven't been there in months. In months! After a while, he was mostly pissed because I hung around the cab stand. There was Jimmy and Tommy and me, and there was Anthony Stabile. How you doing? Frankie Carbone. And his guys, Frankie the Wop, Freddie No Nos, and then there was Pete the Killer, who was Sally Balls' brother. And you had Nicky Eyes and Mikey Francesi and Jimmy Two Times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like. I'm gonna go get the papers. Get the papers. By the time I grew up, there was 30 billion a year in cargo moving through Idlewild Airport, and believe me, we tried to steal every bit of it. But now, if I'm right, there could be like a half a mil coming in, all cash. Mm -hmm. yeah, and he said the best time was probably over the weekend. Oh yeah. So maybe Saturday night. Oh, they got the Jewish holiday on Monday. They won't find out till Tuesday. What about the security? No, security. <laughs> You're looking at it. <laughs> he just comes in like he's picking up lost baggies with Tommy D. It's beautiful. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. Huh? Good. We're on. You're half Jewish. Um, just... from the five towns. Well, who? Who? The Jew brought Diane. I was telling you about his side. I'm trying to bang this bro for a fucking month now. The only thing is she won't go out with me alone, you know? No. No what? No. No what, Henry? Who the fuck asked you anything? I didn't even ask you anything. At least wait to hear what I'm going to say. All right, what? She don't want to go out with Italians alone. You fucking believe that? A Jew brought prejudice against Italians. Yes, I figure you come along and go out with a girl. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You knew what? See what? What the fuck is wrong with that? What is this? Tomorrow night. I can't tomorrow night. I got to meet Tootie. You could meet Tootie, you could fucking come early and then Tommy, still go. Tommy, why do you always do this? Hey, remember that why fucking I... Tommy shit? What the fuck I asked you for, Henry? I'm asking you for a favor. I do a lot of fucking favors for you, don't I? I'm trying to bang this fucking bro. You wanna help me out? King of the one-liners, Henny Youngman. How are you all? I'm glad to be here. Take my wife, please. <laughs> I said, where do you want to go for your anniversary? She said, I want to go somewhere I've never been before. I said, try the kitchen. Motherfucking mutt! You! Hey, fuck him. Fuck him in the year. I don't shine shoes anymore. Yeah, well, give me a fucking drink. What the fuck you looking at? I did my fucking time, Jimmy. I did my fucking time. I came home, and I want what I got to get. You understand? Yeah. He says, no, you're going to tell me something today, tough guy. I said, all right, I'll tell you something. Go fuck your mother. <laughs> Never ride on your friends. And always keep your mouth shut. Bye-bye, dickhead. 
Ollie, I'm really sorry. I don't know what else to say. I know I fucked up. Fucked up? Yeah, you fucked up. You looked in my eyes, you lied to me. You treated me like a fucking jerk. Like I was never nothing to you. Paulie, after what you said, I couldn't come to you. Now I gotta turn my back on you. Jerk. 3,200 bucks. That's what he gave me. And now it's all over. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? You're right. Funny how? Just, what? Just, you know, you're, you're funny. <laughs> you know, maybe it's me. I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? I'm not just... You know how you tell a story? What? No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Get the fuck out of here, Tommy. <laughs> you motherfucker. I almost had him. I almost had him. Stuttering, yeah, stuttering prick yet? Frankie, was he shaking? Take coffee to go. Let's go. Hey, so cool, would you?